Well, it's now official. Ski masks are illegal in many public places in Philadelphia. The controversial ban automatically became law today, and there's plenty of reaction tonight. Action News reporter Annie McCormick is live along the Ben Franklin Parkway with more. Annie. Yeah, and Rick, because outgoing Mayor Jim Kenney did not sign the legislation or veto it, it did become law today, and it now carries a $250 fine. We're hearing mixed opinions tonight on a new law that allows Philadelphia police to find people for wearing ski masks in specific public spaces. The masks are also known as pushisties or balaclavas. I don't know why I don't want us to wear them over here. It's freezing out here, but I, I, me personally, I don't wear them, but I think they should let other people wear them. People like me that go to work and the other people that go to work, that early mornings and late nights, is, their faces are going to be cold. So I think certain times it shouldn't be banned, but then yeah, it should be banned. The list includes SEPTA, where masks were already banned, parks, schools, daycare centers, and city-owned buildings. Just two weeks ago, city council voted 13 to 2 passing the legislation. It was sponsored by council member Anthony Phillips, who said it could aid police in solving crimes. Mayor Jim Kenney did not veto or sign the legislation, which in turn became law. ACLU attorney Solomon F. World said this in testimony two weeks ago. Safety is important, but there's no evidence to suggest that ski masks cause or encourage violent crime. And today he told 6ABC he is disappointed, saying it adds a target on the backs of black and brown people. Those against it also say it delves into stop and frisk, which is legal but controversial. But some commuters today agreed with the new law. I don't think it's a white or black thing. You have someone with a ski mask on, and so your nerves start, you know, the adrenaline start pumping, and you don't know if they're going to rob you, or you don't know if it's just a regular a high school kid or someone is really cold. And Rick, it should be noted that there are exceptions for religious requirements, but what about enforcement? What will that look like? Well, we asked Philadelphia police and also the city. The city did release a statement saying that they will review the final legislation to identify the best approach for legal and effective enforcement. For now, reporting live along the parkway, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Annie, thank you.